Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a comic book um, or graphic novel collection video. I've been watching these a lot on other people's channels and I thought I would do my own because I'm going to kind of rearrange my bookshelves and also I want to decide which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm going to give away and what ones I want to continue with. So I've got a lot to get through um, as you can see here so I'm just going to go ahead and get started um, they're not really in any order so yeah um, starting on top here I have two comics and these are two Rat Queens comics um, this is by Image and I think this is 14 and 12 I picked these up in Forbidden Planet um, whilst I was waiting for the next uh, volume of Rat Queens to come out. I think they're in this stack here and um, so you'll see them in a moment But yeah, I just kind of bought them because I love this um, I really like this uh, Comic and um, it's really fun. It's about a bunch of women and um, these women here on the front and they kind of like go on different adventures uh, For money and they just get in lots of trouble and it's really good. So those are the two comics that I have um, I do have more comics, but I don't know where I put them, so the rest of these are actually graphic novels. Um, here I have a Lovecraft Anthology. This is just a bunch of his stories being retold. And um, the different stories have different artists um, depicting them. Um, it's okay, I probably wouldn't bother picking up the other volumes of this because... Yeah, I just, um, I thought it was okay. It didn't, like, really grip me. I would prefer to actually just read his stories. I think it kind of loses the atmosphere a little bit in graphic form. But I'm still glad I, I read them. I still, you know, I liked a few of them. I liked some of the artwork better than others. I then have Witches, um, Volume 1. I read this a really long time ago. It's a really dark um, graphic novel about... Is it something to do with the woods or people living in the trees, people going missing? Um, it's a very like splattery kind of art style, um, very scribbly as you can see there's like lots of layers of colour and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a horror graphic novel, I probably would, I haven't seen um, the second volume but if I see it I would pick it up. Um, but I've got others I would probably pick up before this one but I did enjoy it, it was a good read. Oh, I then have my Sweet Tooth. Sweet Tooth, I absolutely love. I've been reading this um, this series for a very long time. I'm definitely going to be continuing with it. Um, it's basically this kind of post-apocalyptic world where this disease is going around killing people. Um, I think over half the population is dead. And these hybrid children are being born where they're like half human half animal and they don't get the disease so they're kind of like the new new generation kind of taking over the planet and it's about this boy called Sweet Tooth who is on the run with some friends and yeah it's really good it's really interesting this is volume six I actually haven't read this one yet this was the recent one I got um so yeah this is volume six wild games and it's in that kind of like papery form of graphic novel. So the art style isn't my favourite, but I really, really like the story. Um, so that's why I have continued with it. So um, I think I've got these kind of like in the reverse order. So this is volume five. Uh, volume, no, that was volume six. So this is volume five um, by Jeff Lemire. Um, yeah, really, really like the colours of these are really pretty. Um, this is volume 4, um, Endangered Species. As you can see, I have a lot of them. Like I said, I'm definitely going to continue reading it. Come to the side. Um, volume 3, uh, Animal Armies. In Captivity, volume 2. And this is the first one, Out of the Deep Woods. So I highly, highly recommend this. Um, I really, really enjoy it. I love the art, I love um, the front covers and everything about that. Next I have the Wicked and the Divine series, which I have three of them. I kind of gave up, I don't know. I know they're still releasing them, I don't know if I'm going to continue with it to be honest. Um, all of these are out of order. 
and this is the way I picked them off my shelves. Um, I liked the first two and I didn't like the third one. So this is the Wicked and the Divine. Um, I love the art style, that's why I continued reading it. It's about these gods um, living in modern society, but they only have so many years to live and about all the trouble they get up to. Um, so that was, oh sorry, that was, the first one is um, The False Act, the second one is Commercial Suicide. So yeah, I was kind of enjoying it up till here. I love how brightly coloured it is. Um, it's a really, really pretty graphic novel. Um, and then, but, um, Phantomonium, the third one, I, oh, this is the second one, sorry, the third one, I just, that was the third one I just showed you. I didn't like the third one because, um, the chapters are written by, were illustrated, sorry, by different artists and I didn't like it. So if it goes back to kind of the traditional way, like the others were, then I might continue reading it, but yeah, I kind of just lost focus. I'll probably have to reread it as well, because all the gods get a little bit complicated at one point. But yeah, it's okay. Um, not my favourite. I then have Chew. I have three volumes of Chew. I seem to have a lot of a lot of um of these graphic novels in like rounds of three. <laughs> um, this is one I want to continue. This is really cool, actually. This is um, following this guy who is a detective. Um. And he um, has this power where whatever he eats, he can tell where it's come from, what's happened to it and where it's been. So obviously being a detective, he ends up eating really gross stuff to find out what's happened. And I need to reread these actually. I haven't read them in a really long time. Um, so yeah, this is volume one, Taster's Choice. And yeah, it's just really funny. It's quite comical. I like the main guy. Um, the art style's okay. And yeah, I, I just really funny. I would highly recommend it. Uh, so that's volume one. Volume two, Just Desserts. This this one was pretty funny. I think I like this one. He gets with this kind of, I think she's a critic, if I remember. And then International Flavour, the third one. So definitely going to continue with them. I think I need to stop reviewing these so much and just <laughs> show you them because uh, I have a lot to get through. Here we have the Rat Queens, um, I, I already explained them in the uh, first bit there, so I have volume 1 which is, oh no this is volume 2, they're all really out of order, so this is volume 4, this is the most recent one I got, I got this for Christmas, uh, High Fantasies volume 2 um, and that's volume 3, I'm missing, no, I've got, oh there's volume 1, I've got 4 of these, sorry. <laughs> Four volumes, so four, two, no that was three, this is two, <laughs> and this is the first one. So I highly, highly recommend this if you like fantasy action. Um, they all have kind of different, really different personalities, and I like all of the characters, to be honest, they're all super funny. So you have a mage, and then you have um, like a voodoo priest, and then the little like nymph down there. It's really good, it's really, really funny. I then have Revival, which I also want to continue. I haven't read this in an awfully long time. It's been a couple years. I have volume one and two. And this is about a um, this town where people are dying and then they're coming back to life, but not as they were. They're kind of coming back a bit deranged. Um, this was really, really interesting. I would like to continue this series. It was like a horror kind of one. I then have Suburban Glamour. I picked this up because it's similar artwork to The Wicked and the Divine. I don't know if it's the same people. It's also by Image. A lot of my graphic novels are by Image. Um, but this is about... I don't remember too much about this actually. I remember enjoying it. I think it's like where her fantasies come to life. Or something's hunting her down. I need to reread it but I know I liked it. But it's a very short little graphic novel. I then have Wayward, Volume 1 and 2. I did like these. I really like the art style in these. I need to reread them because I don't remember a whole lot about them. I know it's about a girl who moves to this town and things start attacking and she makes some mysterious friends. But yeah, I need to reread them because I don't remember a whole lot. So there's volume one, string theory, and volume two, ties that bind. But yeah, like I said, I remember I really, really liked it and I love the art style. It's really, really pretty. So yeah, um, next I'll go on to this stack. I have, 
well, I have both of these. This is volume two. I have volume one and volume two of Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book. And I remember I really, I wanted this for such a long time and then I got them both and I was so disappointed. Um, it just wasn't really for me. Um, the first one I liked, it was like a bit, it was about a baby who is dumped in a graveyard and this boy basically lives in this graveyard as, and a vampire is like his guardian and the ghosts kind of mentor him and stuff. And it sounds really, really good. Um, but I was just so disappointed by it. I like, I think maybe the second one I was, I like the first one more. The second one kind of jumps around a bit. And it's like supposed to be different adventures. But there was just something about it that I didn't like. And I couldn't get into it. And it was just such a huge disappointment because I'd wanted it for such a long time. I'm going to donate these to my local library. And um, the first volume is currently stuck down the side of my chest of drawers so I need to fish that out. <laughs> um, on the side here I have a bunch of adventure times which I was going to get rid of but I might save them for my son. I have one to, volumes one to four. Um, yeah I don't need to explain much about these they're just cartoony fun. Um, they were actually pretty interesting stories. They were fun. I did enjoy reading them. I haven't watched the cartoon um, but I like the uh, graphic novels. They're pretty funny. They're just, yeah, a bit of fun. I then have Nimona. Um, I was gifted this by a friend of my husband's. He bought it and it wasn't for him, but I really like it. Again, it's one I read a really long time ago. I would have to reread. Um, but that style's nice, and I remember it being very, very funny. I read through it in one sitting. Um, I like the colour palette as well. Um, but it's like these two were kind of battling with each other and I think she's like his apprentice. Um, but yeah, I'd have to reread, but I did I did enjoy it. I then have Rocket Raccoon. This is a Marvel comic. I don't really have many. This is it was actually my gift to my husband. I don't think he's ever read it. <laughs> um, I read it and I did enjoy it um, because I like Rocket. Rocket and Groot are my favourite um, guardians. So yeah, it was just a little action rocket so i like the um the colors in this too so this was good i might pick up more of the um guardians of the galaxy marvel stuff i liked that and then i brought Groot after reading that one and again i really liked it It was kind of like a little Groot origin story um and it also has rocket in there and i just love the humor i love Groot's. i just think he's awesome <laughs> super funny i then have Dragon Ball full colour. I picked this up. My husband likes Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. So I picked up to see what it was all about. It was difficult to get used to reading this because you obviously read it back to front. Um, <laughs> but I love the colour story. Again, humour was really great. I need to probably reread this and then pick up the other ones because I did really enjoy it. It was super funny. I'm glad I gave it a go. Um... So yeah, it was just the whole reading it the other way around was a little bit confusing at times. I had to remember when I picked it up, but I am glad I read it. This graphic novel is probably my favourite one. I'm pretty sure this is the favourite one I have. And it's a bunch of short stories, um, Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. They're all very creepy. Um, it's a horror graphic novel and I love, love the art style, I love the stories, um, I would love to try and find more um, graphic novels like this. If anyone has read this and knows of uh, one similar then please let me know. Um, but yeah I love, love the art style and it's just a bunch of creepy stories so this is great for Halloween. I really, really love this one. It's been around on booktube quite a lot as well but definitely my favourite. And <laughs> next stack, I have Fatal, um, Death Chases Me. I've been, I haven't been saying the authors of these graphic novels, so I'm sorry, but I'm sure you can see them on the on the book. My pronunciation is always really horrible of them. Anyway, this one is about a detective, and he's investigating this case, and this woman keeps popping up. Um, it was okay, but I wasn't that fond of the art style, so to be honest, I probably won't pick this one up again. I might donate this one, because I have so many graphic novels I want to continue, that I want to 
by the next episode in in um, those ones that I'm probably gonna just get rid of the ones that I know I'm not gonna continue the series that I'm not gonna continue and I don't think I'm gonna continue this one so this one I might donate but I did read it and I did enjoy it it's just the art style wasn't really for me um, I then have volume one and two of I Hate Fairyland. This is really funny. It's about, it's by Scotty Young. It's about a girl who gets sucked into this fairyland as she has to complete this quest to get home. But she never manages to complete this quest and she ends up stuck in this um, cute fluffy fairyland. But, um, and she's stuck in this young body but she's actually... By the time you know we get around to her, she's an adult. <laughs> she kind of grows up in this fairyland, and she ends up absolutely hating it um, because she just wants to get out. She's stuck there, and she wants to get home. She's had enough. She's had enough of all these cute people and um, these cute little creatures. And yeah, so it's really, really funny. I really like it. I would like to pick these up and continue it. I have volume one which is Madly Ever After, and then volume two, which is Fluff My Life. So yeah, great sense of humour, and I like the bright colours. I like brightly coloured um, graphic novels, like bold ones. I then have volume one, two, three of Outcast. I did really like this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue buying them just because it was actually made into a TV series, so I might just watch that. I watched a few episodes, and it was very true to the graphic novel. Um, but it's a very dark style. Again, this was more for the story than the art style um, because it's very plain, simple colours, very dark. But it's about this man and these creatures seem... He, these people keep getting possessed around him and he seems to be able to to pull whatever is, these, whatever is possessing these people out of, the, out of the person. And it's kind of his journey as to why they're doing that and um how it's affecting him and kind of yeah i'm not sure how it ends because i haven't read the ending yet but i have volume one darkness surrounds him um the vast and un unending rain and then um this little light i haven't read this little light yet so i might read it and then see how the story is progressing it was interesting i'm not going to get rid of these i'm definitely going to keep these because i might pick this series back up once i've completed some of my other series um, Ghosted Volume 1, Haunted Heist, this is the only one I have of this. Um, this is just like a haunted house, a bunch of people go and stay in a haunted house and bad stuff happen. This was interesting, this is a bit the same kind of thing as um, Outcast though. I feel like I may continue, continue this series later on once I've completed some others, so, so there's no rush for it, but I did enjoy it. Paper Girls of Volume 1, I absolutely love, love the art style of this. One of my favourites. I'm definitely going to continue this series. The story is really weird. I don't feel like I can say too much about it without like giving everything away. Um, basically, this, it follows this group of girls who are on their paper route. And yeah, just crazy stuff starts to happen. And um, yeah, I can't, it's kind of like sci fi -y. But set in, it's like set in the 80s, I think, with, yeah, like sci-fi elements. I really like the artwork in this. I love the colours. Um, I love how bold it all is. And how the colours change um, from page to page. It starts off on Halloween night. But yeah, I really, really recommend this. It's weird, but I like it. I like the story. Five Ghosts. This is one I'm going to be getting rid of. I just couldn't get into it. It sounded really, really interesting. It was, um, follow this guy and it's haunting a Fabian Grey. And I think he's possessed by several different ghosts. Um, but there's like a samurai, an archer, a mage. There's like a detective guy in the back. But yeah, from what I can remember, he was like possessed or something by several different people. Uh, oh, here we go. The wizard, the archer, the detective, the samurai, and the vampire. I just thought, that sounds amazing. I'm going to definitely get this. And then I got it, and I read it, and I didn't really understand it. The story didn't really flow, and I really didn't like the art style. It's very, very, like, sketchy. Um, which is not really for me. 
So yeah, I'm kind of gutted that I didn't like it. I really wanted to like it because it sounds like something I would really enjoy, but I just couldn't really get into it. And I can't even really tell you about the story because I don't really remember. The Woods is about a school, well, a bunch of children in a school get transported to a different world. And <laughs> um, this is only the first volume and, um, oh look, it has a little thing there by Jeff Lemire who wrote Sweet Tooth. This is the first volume that Arrow and I definitely want to continue the series. It was really interesting and I really liked the art style. Again, with the pops of colour. It was really nicely done. And yeah, it was really interesting. When they get transported to this, to this planet, there's like these creatures and a group of kids go off on their own to try and discover what's happening. Um, it's really, really good and really interesting. I highly recommend. I'm definitely going to continue with that one. Another one I'm definitely going to be continuing with is Sex Criminals. I heard all about this when it first came out, but I didn't buy it because I had so many others that I wanted, I was interested in. So I actually didn't pick this up that long ago, maybe about a year ago. And I'm super, super glad I did. It's so, so funny. And this is volume one, uh, One Weird Trick. It's about these two people and when they have sex they stop time and they can pretty much do whatever they want and it's really really funny um, obviously there are graphic scenes in here um, you know I mean they have sex a lot in it <laughs> um, but it's very humorous I'm trying to find a page it's not really oh, no even the first one I can't show <laughs> um, but yeah, but I can't really show the art style, but it's really, really funny and I highly recommend it. It's comical and it's just something different. It was interesting. I liked it. I then have volume one and two of Snot Girl. This follows a blogger, um, Snot Girl, um, who, yeah, she's a complicated person. <laughs> um, she has a lot of mystery around. She kind of falls in love has like a weird relationship with this girl here and it's just kind of like follows her life she is a bit of an unreliable narrator she seems to have like gaps here and there in her storytelling so it's really interesting again i love the art style i love the pops of color um so yeah it's a different kind of story to what i would normally read but i really like it I've got volume one, volume two, so green hair, don't care, and California screaming. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to continue with them. I like that a lot. Injection was one that I'm not going to continue. Um, purely because, I mean, I read this twice and I still was like, what? <laughs> um, the art style's nice, it's okay, but the story I really couldn't get into. Like I said, I read it twice and I must have just been blanking on certain pages where I just zoned out because I can't for the life of you tell you what this is about. And like I said, I read it twice. So that's not a good sign. <laughs> so um, yeah, not for me. I'm probably going to donate this as well to my library. Um, Lady Killer. I bought this a really long time ago. This is by Dark Horse. I'm sorry I'm not saying all of the companies these are from. If you'd like me to do a more in-depth review about any of these, then please let me know. Some of them I've already done reviews on. Um, but yeah, so sorry about that. Sorry I'm not mentioning the authors of the comics. Um, if you have any questions, then just leave them in the comments below and I'll let you know. Um, Lady Killer is about this um, housewife who is a loving mother and wife but she's also a secret assassin. Um, I really like this. I actually quite liked the colour palette. It's dull, um, but in a really interesting way. And I liked the story. The main woman is really, really funny. Um, yeah, it was just a really interesting story. Um, next, I have Fables, Legends in Exile. I really, really enjoyed this. This was a fair, it's a fairy tale retelling about fairy tale creatures in the modern world and how they're fitting into modern society and about keeping like their own laws and stuff. So I have Legends in Exile, and then I also got Fables, Werewolves in the Heartland, which is like a